So uh, OMA3 actually stands for OMA, uh, for Open Metaverse Alliance for Web3. And we announced that basically last week while I was in London at the conference. And um, the idea came about when I was actually on a, on a panel together with uh, Sebastian Borgay from, from Sandbox, with Saro from, from Alien Worlds and a few others from Batiste from Space. And you said, hey, we actually have to go start working together. What we basically say is that the world is moving away from being application centric to user centric and that we have to work together to empower the users to actually take their assets from one world to the other. I organized a meeting where, you know, we have all, you know, the blockchain OGs companies in the room together. We had people from Dapper Labs, we have Decentraland, Sandbox I mentioned. So lots of people together in the room there said, hey, we have to work together. And we sort of started then OMA3. We have also a website called OMA3.org. And um, the basic idea is when we say, hey, what does it mean user centric? So just imagine, you know, one day obviously you know we're going to have cars right and when you want to take maybe one day your car for whatever reason you want to take that car maybe raise it also in another metaverse right so that's where we say okay we want to enable that we want to empower the users to do that because maybe the car has certain characteristics or it has been damaged in upland maybe that damage should also be seen in in, in the sandbox right so so that's a little bit the the approach we're taking the other thing is uh, con, you know when you take maybe identity also maybe you have an identity in one metaverse and you want to take parts of that identity maybe to another metaverse so this is what it drives uh, drives actually the idea about the the open metaverse alliance and we're going to focus very much on everything what is around blockchain and web3 there's another uh, metaverse standards forum what was you know started also announced like roughly three or four weeks ago by by the big guys by microsoft um, you know adobe there's a lot of you know big big players in there and we're going to join that as the open metaverse alliance for web3 Three. We're going to join that in a zone of a delegation, right, to make sure we, know we synchronize also there, you know, on, on file formats and lots of other things which needs to be done. It's a lot of technical details. We always promote the, the open metaverse. We know we, we are launching the NFT portal. We did that already with a WAX project. We also let the users import crypto kitties, right? So with the kitty island, as you probably know, some of you. So, and uh, we want to extend that, right, going forward with the NFT portal and allow that, right? So, so when we do that, we also want empower the upland users or the uplanders right to really go from you know take the assets and bring that to another metaverse or invite other uh, metaverse citizens to come to to upland this will increase liquidity for all of us at the end of the day it makes it much more interesting because you get many more players into into the upland metaverse what is also important maybe to to mention is that um, we uh, we see a future where it's very smooth for the users, right? At the beginning, it will you know will be probably more between two worlds to go, just between you know, let's say the sandbox or, or upland. But in the future, you will have probably much more uh, possibilities to go really to every world you want to go. But I want to also make it clear: it will take a lot of time until this is possible, right? Because standards forums they need a lot of discussion, a lot of agreements, you know, until you see the results. So what I believe, what we're seeing first is you know we're probably more or partnerships between two worlds at the beginning and out of those partnerships we're probably gonna create standards going forward but the future will tell